um, unsafe from India? Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Sheikh, uh, what is the proof from the Sunnah that is from the Prophet, peace be upon him, or the companions about doing Rukia using water? There isn't any proof on this issue from the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. <clears throat> there are indications that the Tabi'een used to do, some of the Tabi'een used to do it. Now, the concept of Ruqya, is it affirmative in the Sunnah or not? Yes. The concept of blowing, dry spitting, when making ruqya, especially before going to bed or when a person is ill or when doing it for a patient. <clears throat> is it authentic from the sunnah? The answer is yes. Drinking zamzam water as a form of healing and a cure of our illnesses, is it authentic in sunnah? The answer is yes. This is what called some scholars to say that doing ruqya is something permissible. It's not prescribed. It's any dua you make and you blow. And this is what I mentioned a little bit earlier, if you remember, that the Prophet said, ruqakum, that show me your ruqya. And he used to in, uh, 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 direct people to make ruqya, not by specifically choosing this and that and this and that. Rather, General Ruqya, as long as there is dua, as long, you're, as, long as you're invoking Allah Azza wa Jal. <coughs> Therefore, the Salaf of the Tabi'een and so forth, when they said make Ruqya over Zamzam water, and if not available, then any water or olive oil, and drink it or rub it on the places that need healing, they have applied the general rulings and the concept of permissibility over ruqya which the prophet had given and allah knows best